this is the new singlet servo decoder and driver uh, from Tan Valley Depot. It is a integrated unit with some indicator LEDs, two buttons that serve to control the servo and also to program the unit as I will demonstrate in a moment. And on the back side we have a place to plug in uh, to your DCC bus for power and also to receive the DCC signal. And over here we have a three pawn pin plugging in a servo. Here's a, a little servo that you can get with the unit, a little eSky sub-miniature servo. I'll plug it in to the three prong unit right here. And there, the servo drives to the center position. When I change the buttons now, the, uh, you'll see the, the servo doesn't actually move very much uh, because as the unit comes from the factory uh, it's programmed that way so that you can easily install it and then you can use these buttons to program the position so what you do is you hold down one of the LEDs until it starts flashing like that now if you briefly push the buttons here you can watch wait so I can get a better angle you can see how the end's moving up there. If I press the other button, it moves down. I'm going to get the unit to where I want it to be, which is generally going to be touching the stock rail and then just one push past to hold it tight. Um, then I can press the other button down until that LED starts flashing. And I can repeat the programming on the other side, so let's program that position so it's going the other way okay when I'm done I hold down the LED again until it stops flashing and now I've got the LED moving and it will remember this position um, even after the power's off it's saved in a little EE prom on the device now it's also a server decoder and over here I have my DCS50. I'll put it into switch mode. It's a little hard to read but it says 001. I've got this current, the default address as it comes. It's programmed to 1. Let's see if I can set this up correctly here. So I can, so you can see everything. Let's see, put that in there. Now, Hold that there, and then I'll press throw and close. I'll zoom in. Throw. You can see the LED change and flash to indicate that it's found a DCC address and decoded it, and the servo moving. So that's the DCC decoder function. So now, if I want to put this on a different address, a different DCC address, hold down both buttons. Both buttons are flashing, so now we're in the DCC mode. Over here, I'm going to select 005 for my address, and I'll send it a DCC command. Throw, and you see the light turned off, and now the unit's been programmed for a DCC address of 5. So when the double lights are flashing, um, it'll accept the next DCC accessory decoder command and remember it. Now this is a accessory decoder, not a locomotive decoder, so on the DCC unit here you use the switch function and on your handheld unit you use the switch function to select the address, not one of the local functions. Okay, so that's how to program and use this. Um, now I'm going to show you how to put a wire on the end of this to control the turnout. This default end effector is not my favorite one, so I'm going to take that off with a little screw, remove that one. 
and then I'm going to make up a new one using this one that also comes. It comes with the servo. Um, and I like to cut off these big arms. Like that. And like that. And now take a piece of .020 music wire, which you can buy at your K&S Metal Center, your local hobby shop. And I'm going to make a bend. And then I'm going to make another bend here to go around the mounting screw so I can get the screw in after I'm done. Now I want to take that and measure from here to where I want to bend it again. This music wire, this small music wire bends pretty easy and it's really quite big enough for moving almost any turnout except maybe a fast tracks to solid rail point so a larger rail size. Alright, see now that fits in there. And now I can just bend that over like that. Okay. And then I'll bend this over to hold it in place. This is really the best way to put these wires on. These bent wires will never come off again. If you use some sort of set screw holder or something like that, the set screws over time work out and the wires come out. So the, the bending is really the best way to go. Now, I've got that there. Take that, put it on my servo. That. Now, since I cleverly bent the wire out of the way, it's a simple matter for me to put that screw in there to hold it. Alright, so now that's ready to go. Go up through a hole and, and throw my switch. That's probably not where I wanted to put it, so it's a simple matter to take out the screw, move it over a couple notches, and put the screw back in. And there we go, now it's better centered. There we go. Alright, so that's how I put on the uh, the wire for controlling the server.